Hi, my name is Charles Kuntz and I'm a surgeon at Southpaws. In this video I'm going to describe performing a triple pelvic osteotomy in a dog with hip dysplasia. These radiographs show severe joint laxity and a little bit of flattening of the femoral heads. Now the first thing we do is a midline pubic incision. Now we're doing this surgery bilaterally, so on both hips through only one pubic symphyseal cut. Uh, the muscle uh, is separated and then Hohmann retractors are used at the caudal and cranial extents of the pubic symphysis. Now it's critical that when this cut is being made that the uh, urethra is protected and I have seen dogs have urethral damage during this part of the procedure. Now, once the pubic cut is made, it's important to make sure that the pubic symphysis is completely divided and that the two sides can uh, move separately from each other. So this part of the incision is closed routinely, and then a lateral approach is made to the ileal shaft. I prefer to do a muscle splitting technique rather than uh, sharp dissection through the muscle bellies because I believe that this results in a um, a less painful recovery and more rapid return to function. Now the middle gluteal muscle is separated from the tensor fascia lata and then a Hohmann retractor is introduced dorsal to the ileal shaft. I like to completely expose the ileal shaft, and this facilitates making of the cut and also placement of the plate. The periosteum is separated away from the medial portion of the ileal wing, and then a gauze sponge is placed uh, in an attempt to protect the sciatic nerve. Now I like to stick my index finger in medial to the ileal shaft and identify the caudalmost extent of the sacrum or the sacral wing, and then I make a cut uh, or, or a mark using my electric cautery to. Uh, serve as a pattern for my osteotomy. Now in order to protect the sciatic nerve, I like to cut the lateral cortex of the ileal wing and the ventromedial cortex of the ileal wing, but not the ventral or the uh, dorsal medial portion of the ileal wing because that's where the sciatic nerve is going to be. Uh, in order to make that portion of the cut, I uh, use an osteoterminal mallet and very delicately cut that area of bone. I dislocate the caudal iliac segment once the cut's completed and then place the slocum plate on the caudal segment first. I'm very careful to diverge the screws so that the forces are not concentrated on one small area uh, on the medial uh, ileal shaft. And I use cancellous bone screws on the caudal segment and cortical bone screws on the cranial segment. Okay, so hit direct monitoring again. Okay, and stop recording.
The plate is then attached to the cranial segment. Now this post-operative radiograph shows that the screws are not entering into the pelvic canal and I think that's important because you can develop some neurologic deficits in these patients.